extending benefits of drinking coffee and some of the reasons that it may be so beneficial. Some people responded to an earlier version of this video by saying, ah, coffee is not all that good, tea is better. And so just to clarify, <laughs> um, I'm not saying tea is bad. I'm both a coffee drinker and a tea drinker myself. I'll be talking about some studies that showed very specific associations between a reduction in all-cause mortality, which was worldwide for coffee drinkers. And that's not to say that there are not other benefits for drinking tea. I'll be exploring those in other videos. There is clear evidence that coffee has a life-extending effect. A journal of the American Medical Association study states that the more coffee you drink, up to around five cups a day, the less likely you are to die of any cause. After six cups, your risk of dying starts increasing again. The longevity promoting effect is significant in men and even more so in women. It's pronounced in people of European ancestry, but even more pronounced in people of other backgrounds and races. Regardless of race or gender, people who drank two to four cups of coffee a day were found to have an 18% lower risk of death compared with people who didn't drink coffee. A study called Coffee Consumption and All-Cause and Cause-Specific Mortality published in the European Journal of Epidemiology noted that drinking coffee reduced all-cause mortality and decreased the death rate regardless of our age, our percentage of body fat, our consumption of alcohol, and regardless of whether or not we're smokers, and also regardless of the caffeine content of the coffee. The coffee consumption was also associated with a reduced risk of getting and dying from cancer, diabetes, lung disease, and heart disease, even after correcting for factors such as age, obesity, and lifestyle choices. People who drink coffee have also been shown to have a reduced chance of succumbing to Alzheimer's disease compared with non-coffee drinkers. But why would coffee have life-extending benefits? One theory is that it's because coffee promotes autophagy, a kind of deep cleaning that removes debris from our body cells. A Stanford University School of Medicine article states that the effect may be because caffeine in coffee lowers inflammation, which many researchers consider to be a key driver of the aging process. Interestingly though, the life-extending effect is evident whether people drink caffeinated coffee or decaf. Earlier in the video, I mentioned a journal of the American Medical Association study that found that five cups a day appeared to be a safe upper limit, but other studies have found that drinking more than 28 cups a week, which averages out to just four cups a day, is associated with a higher death rate. So it may be best to limit our consumption to no more than four cups a day, and perhaps a little bit under. This video is sponsored by Do Not Age, a good source for anti-aging supplements. I take their NMN, Cert6 Activator, Resveratrol, Berberine, and several other supplements. For a 10% discount on their products, use the discount code PATHWAYS. Be sure to type it in all caps. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Now, if you're not familiar with my videos, stick around for a minute and I'll tell you about them. So I've had people ask me now and then, who am I and why am I making these videos? I'm just a guy who became interested in anti-aging. I noticed that I was heading into sarcopenia. I was having some health issues and I was able to reverse the sarcopenia and improve my health by applying the sorts of principles that I talk about in these videos. The video on the left is me as I looked in the fall of 2020. The video on the right is me as I looked in the fall of 2021. And I'm certainly not saying I have the best physique in the world, but I was able to lose some excess body fat and put on some muscle 
and make some other positive changes by applying the sorts of principles that I talk about in these videos. So I hope that they're helpful and I wish everyone well. Take care.